Hey guys, it's Drak and I just got in this package uh, a while ago actually before my move and it's just been waiting for me to make a video on but it comes complete with a note and it's a blaster that I don't really recognize so this is Hi Drek, I'm a fan of your channel, this is a Busby Predator People sure like the Busby Predator so here is one for you with a red and black and silver so that's pretty sweet, those are some of my favorite color combinations um, could you also say that I gave away a lot of blasters like this one? That would be great. Uh, I really did give a lot of blasters away. I believe you, man. And you were reaching out to try and share some of your work from a subscriber, AutoNerf. So we'll be sure to link AutoNerf in the description box in case you want to check out more uh, cool paint jobs like this. But I know that uh, he's pretty, pretty well-renowned for his swirl painting. Now, swirl painting is something that I'm not super duper familiar with. I know it works a little bit like hydro dipping where you do dots of paint, move them around on the surface, and then kind of press through similar to how hydrographics work. Now, I'm familiar with hydrographics, but I'm not brave enough to try the swirl painting, and I don't have enough of the thin paints and, and nail polishes and lacquers and whatnot to do it. So maybe one day I'll try my hand at it, but this looks pretty great. You can see that it suffers from some of the same issues that hydro dipping does where occasionally you'll get tears in your paint. But other than that, I mean, it's really, really interesting. And then one thing that's super duper cool about it is that if I do a hydro dipped uh, blaster that's like in a blue with a skull print on it like the the eighth or not somebody else could in theory do the same mods the same print or the same paint and then the same film and get something that looks almost identical whereas with a swirl painting due to the very nature of it it's completely and totally unique uh, what's this this piece of paper is trying to fall into here which tells us oh yes there's hidden dart storage in the snipe that's kind of cool that the swirl paint has I guess he did it in multiple pieces, but that's a really neat feature that this has kind of a hidden compartment that mirrors the swirl painting, but um, it is a Busby Snipe, which is an older generation Busby Blaster now, whereas the Busby Blasters of today have gotten much better. This even fully modified, and here we'll give it uh, the benefit of a, a level shot here. So, fully modified, getting slightly sub-elite performances. I guess I didn't need to move. I already did this. So, it's got that fun sort of bolt action going on. He's definitely tweaked the barrel fit a little bit. But, it's weird that the snipes dart door doesn't go away until you pull the trigger. Just kind of a funky feature on the snipe. Huh. We're getting like a pseudo gun smoke effect because it was in all that that paper packaging for so long. That's sort of fun. That wasn't a bad shot. Definitely getting ranges of like about 50 feet. Certainly 50 with an angle. Yeah, that's not bad. But the the overall boon here is the the looks of the blaster. So I am very impressed with the swirl paint job. I just wish. It was on something that I could like realistically use at a war. I might try using the snipe at a war just because it's kind of goofy fun. Handicap myself a little bit at the SCNC with a, a single shot springer like this. But it is, I mean, completely unique and looks really, really cool. And that's, that's the benefit here. The scope unpainted on it just serves to add to that kind of wild wow factor for it. But... Busby's been getting a lot better with their blasters, and I'm sure that Auto Nerf has been as well. This is a fine swirl paint job, and, and I'm excited to see what else comes out of this channel, because, I mean, this looks great. Really, really cool stuff. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know what you think of swirl paint jobs like this. Like, if you're into it, if you think it's... It's interesting. I know you guys dug the, the hydrographic dipping when I did that, and I think that this is very similar, that they share a lot in common. But while the Busby Snipe is not a very impressive blaster, this one in particular is now very special and very, very cool, and I like it a lot. So 
Huge thanks to Auto Nerf. What a fine piece of fan mail. Clear that you put a ton of love and time into this. And huge thanks to you guys for watching. Much love, Nerf on. Drek out.